Hi my little friends. Once again we are together and we are at our learn forward platform with our book the grammar hub by feather cap for class 1. We will be starting a new chapter today chapter 11 in which we will be learning about use of is, are, am. They are called nothing but helping verbs because they help the verbs. How? Let us learn about them. Some words have been given in the boxes and what you have to do? Color the boxes with verb in yellow. So, you have to pick out the verbs. Now, you know what are verbs. They are actions, right? So, let us color them yellow. Is tree a verb? Is it an action? No. Swim? Yes. School? No. Talk? Yes. This is the most one you do in class with your friends. Help? Yes. You all help your friends and everybody need. Bus? No. Laugh? Yes. You laugh aloud at jokes, isn't it? Cap? No. Pen? No. Drive? Yes. That is an action. So, that is a verb. Computer? No. Jump? Yes, of course. You all jump like monkeys, isn't it? So, all these highlighted words are verbs. They are actions. So, that was the recall on verbs now. Let's get, get start with the new journey. We'll learn about is, are, am. Children, is, are, am are called the helping verbs. They are the helping verbs because most of the times they stand with some other verb in the sentence. But sometimes they might stand alone also, right? But what and where to use is our am. Am is the word, it is the verb which is used only with the pronoun, first person pronoun I. That's it. Am is used only with the pronoun I. Remember that. So, am is used only with the pronoun I. And when we talk about anything in singular, it can be a pronoun, third person pronoun, he, she, it. It can be any singular noun also. Boy, girl, child, bird, any noun which is in singular. Then it can be a proper noun also like Raman, Gupal, Nivedita, any noun. So, all these are singular and the singular nouns always carry is with them. Okay. Whenever you need, you will be using is with the singular subject, the singular word. May it be a pronoun or a noun. So, it is used with singular. Right? Even with this, that, when we did pointers, I told you, this, that, these are followed by the verb the, is. Next, are is used with the plurals. They may be pronouns, they may be nouns. If I talk about boys, I talk about girls, I talk about children, I talk about teachers, trees, animals, birds or I simply say they. That is also a pronoun which is in plural, isn't it? So, with all these plurals, we always use are whenever needed. Okay. So, what you have to remember, let us quickly write in short. With I, you use am. With singular, you use is and with plural and students remember that even you whether it is singular or plural with you also we always use are. I say you are my student that means I am talking about one student. You are my students. I am talking about many but whether with one or for many I am using the word are. You are my student you are my students, right? So, I am singular is plural and you, we use are. This is what you have to remember in a nutshell. So, going ahead, 
let's read this conversation what is she saying she is talking about herself i so she is saying i am i'm ria and then he is introducing somebody and he is saying this is avi he is my brother so this is singular he is also singular so we are using is with singular right now hello i am rosie now she is again introducing herself she is using i for herself and then it is followed by am you always say like that i'm so and so isn't it so i am ria and i now they are talking about two so she rosie is talking about two that becomes plural so we are using here are ria and i are friends because they have turned into plural now connected with am easy i hope all of you have understood so let's recall what we have learned in this session we know that is r am they are called the helping verbs then am is always used with i will write here again with singular we use very good is with plural and with one more pronoun we always use are what is that pronoun i have told you yes that is you so this is all in nutshell are is used with they we these those also the pointers we use are you we use are so this is what you have to remember from this so let's do an exercise now tick the correct answer we use are when we talk about yes plural that means two or more things when we talk about one thing we use is which saying word is always used with i yes i am which is the plural form of is for singular we are using is but for plural we are using are so the plural form of is is are now in the next exercise you have to use is are am to complete the sentences below and you have to remember the same i have written two three times in this session i is followed by am singular is followed by is this that are singular plural you those these are followed by are so just keeping that in mind we can quickly do this i good i am kitty this is my brother he again singular is older than me they it's plural they are our parents we again plural are now i'm not going to write these then she he that kataria nenya and pote so here we are talking about three that means they are plural what are you going to use here are and the rest you will be doing yourselves children as a practice for you moving to the next exercise make sentences from the table given below write them in the space provided and one has been done for you what do you use with i i am what are you you can say anything i am a teacher i am a doctor i cannot be my mother i am my mother is not correct i am not a parent even i am student but it is in plural we cannot use i am a girl yes of course the girls here can write i am a girl i am we cannot say singers because singers is plural so we have to justify what we are talking about singular should go with singular plural should go with plural and then we have to follow the correct verb also from here like she is a teacher yes that's perfect i said i am anybody can say i am a teacher i am a doctor it's not about you only so you can write anything i am a girl you can write you can write i am a teacher i am a doctor take any one option and you can complete your sentence then he he is he is cannot be my mother he is a teacher is possible he is a doctor is possible he is my mother is not possible because he is used for 
masculine gender and mother is a yes mother is a feminine gender so we cannot write he is a parrot not possible he is students is not possible because he is singular but students is plural he is a girl is it possible no and he is singers is also not possible so we'll be sensible in judging it out and you have many options just pick the correct one okay so i hope you can finish up this exercise yourselves now good and you'll have fun because you'll have to just relate everything next coming this complete the sentences by choosing the correct helping verb so just helping verb the main actions are given what action is going on because we have learned is are am now so father singular father is reading the newspaper my uncle singular again is driving his car my cousin is talking to her friend because cousin is singular the boys oh that's plural the boys are had it been i it would be followed by yes am suppose i say i am driving my car i am reading the newspaper and in the last one the sheep dash in the field we have already done singular plural do you remember singular and plural yes so here this is in plural so the sheep are grazing in the field it is not one it is many so we will be using here are understood so we have to keep all the things and keep relating them children so we have learned the use of is are am in this session and going ahead we'll be having more interesting topics in english grammar till then keep learning happy learning children